what we're going to have a look at now is a really efficient way of turning a descending system into a ascending system. So the scenario here is something bad has happened to my client or my partner, my climbing partner, and I've had to escape out of the system and get down to them to administer first aid. Once I've done that, I know that I'm going to then hoist them back up to the belay. It could be that the tides come in or we're right at the top of a long multi-pitch route. So again, I've made quite a lot of decisions, done quite a lot of planning up at the top. Because I know what's going to happen in the next step once I've sorted my client out, what I've done is set myself up slightly differently here. Rather than having my belay plate extended away from me on a lanyard, I've actually clipped it directly into my belay loop. And I've used my Rhino to do that, which is slightly unusual. Normally I would do that with one of my oval screw gates and you'll see why in a moment or two. The other thing is my backup prusuk is above me rather than below me. And you're gonna see why we've done that in a, in a moment or two. So let's get down and, and sort this poor person out. All right, hey. Yeah, do you want to slap a bit of pressure on that bit where all the blood's coming out? That's it, put your hand on it and push down really hard for me. Ace. What I now need to do is make myself safe. So I'm going to engage the prusuk, check that that's loading. And then you'll notice I've already put a HMS carabiner on here. And I'm going to pop a backup clove hitch into that now. All right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, good. Does it look like it's stopping? Fab. Hey, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here now. It's not a, not a problem. Great. Once I've managed the casualty, what I now need to do is get myself back up to the belay so that I can hoist them out of here. The system that I set up here is gonna allow me to ascend the rope using the pivot alone. And the reason I've decided to do that is because the terrain is really mellow Prusukin conventionally with, with two prusuks in this sort of ground is really quite awkward and inefficient. It's great on vertical ground, but it doesn't work so well here. So if I can keep my weight on my feet and I think I can just sort of haul myself back up, this works much better. And it's actually quite a bit faster as well. First thing I need to do then is convert the pivot into its guide mode function. My, my oval crab and I'm going to clip that into the eye of the pivot and then get that on my belay loop. Now I can take the rhino off of the belay loop but I'm leaving it loaded in that guide mode function and this is why a rhino here is a really good bit of kit. The little horn is going to stop the crab going sideways when I'm hauling myself up. It wouldn't be the end of the world. It's not that that's dangerous, but this part of the carabiner has got a wider diameter and makes your life a lot easier when you're trying to haul a rope through a guide plate in this context. So let's just give that a go. I'm just going to check it and make sure that's working while I've got my backups in. Yeah. So that's fine. Next then, I'm going to get rid of the prusuk. I'm not going to need it to go up here because it's not steep ground and it's just going to get in the way. It's good to clear as you go so that you don't get caught out with things getting jammed in other parts of the system. So I'm just going to get that tucked out of the way. I might want it later as well.
and I'm just hauling myself up, literally. But you can see I need to use my legs to do that. Trying to do this on a steep wall would be would be quite hard. If I do get to a section that that is a little bit trickier, it's fab. I can just use my feet as I need to and then pull up. And you can see how the rhino is really doing its job there. It's not flipping its way through the plate. As soon as I've got an arm span, a rope here, I want to roll that through the back up. You really don't want to be relying on one thing when you're doing something like this. So I'm going to keep that, that in there as I'm going up. Again, a little bit of footwork. Watch out for the wobbly dry stone ball. Yeah, don't worry, I'm almost there. Going to get myself in the bee line, then we'll get you up. That's one, That's one lot of hard work, work done and dusted. I'm back up at the top, so now, so now I can make my way to the belay, belay and, and get myself safe. safe. And then, and then that means I'm ready for the next, for the next task, task, which is also, which is also going to be hard work, work and, that's and that's hoisting them back up. Hoisting back up.